Today I want to talk about balancing pressure. Balancing the pressure that your body rotation will be creating on your arms and hands in the downswing by using your arms and hands to move against that pressure, to hold that pressure through impact and through the golf ball to the target. Why is this so important? Well, the problem is that if you don't actually equalize the pressure of rotation that your body is creating in the downswing, you are going to struggle to get the golf club on plane and through the golf ball dynamically and indirectly put pressure onto the golf ball. What I'm talking about here is something which maybe isn't on your radar, but if you actually hit a few shots and really try and get the feeling from the top of the swing of doing nothing with your arms, really kind of letting them stand, hang, hang a little bit like loose spaghetti and just turning dynamically towards a target, what will actually happen is your arms will kind of get pressed into your body. Your trail elbow might even disappear behind your body and you're gonna have the feeling of kind of having no space. This can be a real problem and I know Rory and an awful lot of golfers kind of talk about sometimes the feeling of the club being kind of trapped behind them. What happens is you clear so hard and you create so much lag, but mm -hmm. it just you just leave it behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can almost feel like a little bit of like rewidening on the weight on. Okay. Just a little, like a little, like remember how like KJ Choi swung mm -hmm. it? Where he yeah. sort of went like this and then he sort of rewidened it? Yeah. Just as like a feel. Mm -hmm. The reason that this happens is because you have to apply pressure away from the body as you start the rotation in the downswing. That means as you are going into the transition, starting to rotate back towards the ball and the target, you are actually creating inertia in the golf club, which is resisting this movement. And in order to do that, what will actually happen is your arms will actually start to move towards you and behind you. This is going to be set off, however, by pressure that you should be applying from your hands and arms in the downswing. I don't know if you've seen a lot of golfers recently um, doing fitness videos where they are actually slamming a medicine ball into the ground here behind them. They will take the club up and as they start the turn, they slam the medicine ball down onto the ground. And this, to a certain extent, is teaching their arms and hands not to be passive as they start the downswing, but on the contrary, to equalize the pressures which are being placed on them by the club because of the rotation of the body in the downswing. So you want to have the feeling as you start the downswing of actively releasing the hinge along this kind of ulnar deviation, that direction in the downswing. From the back camera, you'll see that that is actually kind of moving the shaft behind you. But obviously the rotation of your body is going to be bringing the club in front of you. So you've got this kind of releasing and pressing the club away from you. As that's happening, I said this in a video last time, your lead wrist should be going into flexion, which is helping the club to stay behind you despite you pushing out. Now, I know there's a lot of golfers out there who really aren't rotating their bodies. On the contrary, they are releasing this angle in that direction. So they're basically keeping extension in their wrist and releasing as if they had an ax in their hand. This is obviously not what we want you to do. However, the feeling is a bit similar. Instead of the wrist going in this direction, the wrist is going in this direction. By doing that, you get flexion and you get the pressure is then equalized between the pressure of the rotation and the pressure of the hands. So if you are actually starting your downswing dynamically with the body, going into a lot of, ex of, of, of forces and twisting into the ball, then you're going to have to use a lot of forces in your hands to actually contradict and balance that out. If on the contrary, you have a more passive start into your downswing, you're not as aggressive in your change of direction, you will have to have a more passive 
action with your hands, re reacting to the pressure of the golf club cut, trying to move back towards you, holding it off, but at the same time, trying to equalize the pressure from your hands with the pressure from your body. It's very important to get a feel for this, and it's very difficult to get a feel for this. But at this time of year, before the season really begins, it might be a good idea to get out there and play around a little bit with this feeling. The feeling of holding the club away from you in the downswing, creating a wider arc in the downswing than maybe you have had before, and actively pushing the club away as far as actually the rotation of your body will allow. If your body stalls and you do that, then obviously you're going to go into an early release. However, if your body is active and you're turning dynamically through the golf ball, you really do need these contra contradicting forces from your hands in order to keep control over the golf club through the ball. Hope it helps you. If it does, smash that like button. I'll see you very shortly with the next one.